Welcome to Naresha Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in the last video I have explained how to construct an empty array, the one dimensional array using nd array function. So, in this program also, so I am going to explain the same construction, but I just want to read, read the size of array and the same thing we will specify in the shape to construct that array. Here, so I am importing that module is a numpy. Here, so I am calling the function in the numpy, function is a nd array, function is there and it is expecting the shape. So, dimensions we need to specify, but what is the size? Now, size is a n and next the data type. Suppose, here it is a data type is integer only I am taking, but here it is the size n I want to read from the end user, I want to read. So, integer of input, what is the size of array, enter size. So, that we are collecting into, into n. The variable we mentioned here in the shape to construct the array that is nd array. Next, once array construction is done, here we are collecting into that a variable called arr. Now, we are reading. So, already size we mentioned clearly that is n. So, we ask clearly enter those many elements, enter n means what percentage d elements percentage n we mentioned. So, it will give the message clearly enter n elements. So, we are reading in the same way for loop for i in the range of n the size we mentioned and we are reading here it is a directly into a r r of i a r r of i that integer of input and later we are printing the elements, we are printing array elements are array elements, we are printing that array that is. So, here whenever we execute enter size, suppose if I give the size is 6, enter 6 elements whatever the elements 2, 4, 9, 8, 6, 5 I have given see the array elements all the 6 it is displaying. We mentioned the size clearly first, right. So, here, here sir for example, if I am not mentioning the data type here, by default it is a float type. See, I am not converting into that integer, I am just writing input, I am collecting. So, now whenever we are executing enter size is suppose 5, I am giving that 4, 9, 6, 2, 7 like this. Whenever we display look at this 4 point, 9 point, 6 point, by default it is the float type. So, if you want to convert that float into integer is ok. For example, whenever we try to, whenever we try to specify the string type elements, size is a 5. The first element is a, a b I have given is a string. Now, you will get one error. Of course, we can say exception value error could not convert string to float a b by default it is float type. that you cannot convert I mean the string what you have given cannot be converted to float. So, by default the type is a float type. So, if you want to convert into integer you can convert into float is ok. So, then how can we store string objects that we will see right in a coming videos. Hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you.